Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 28-year-old massage therapist with wrist pain. She's having trouble doing her job, and her orthopedic surgeon, who's a hand surgeon, ordered the MRI, and we see two things. Here's some arrows on one, there's an arrow on the other. So this first finding is between the scaphoid bone and the lunate bone. We should see a little black triangle here called the scapholunate ligament, and it should go right in between here, a little black wedge. And instead, we do not see it. We see a vertical band of bright signal. It looks like the joint coming down. So this is the scapholunate ligament, and it is torn, a longitudinal tear right through that. And this normally, um, or over time, this can widen. And you'll sometimes see it just from a widened scapholunate interspace. But uh, this, in this patient, it's not widened yet. And there may be a little component along the palmar margin. I guess there's a dorsal component and a palmar component. There may be some limited intact palmar fibers, and that's why it's not uh, widening yet. But a scapholunate ligament tear, the lunato trichetral uh, ligament is over here. You can kind of imagine a little gray glob here. Um, normally it's very difficult to see, and as long as that relationship is maintained, you should say, ah, oh, I think I see that uh, lunato trichetral ligament. And one more view. This is a PD fat sac coronal. You can see that scaphoid ligament tear right there. Now the other finding is related to the ulna. This is the ulna, and the ulna goes too far distally. So this is a ulnar positive variant. So the ulna should end a little bit proximal to the distal radius. Here's the radial articular surface. The ulna should end about here because there needs to be room for this. The triangular fiber cartilage needs to come horizontally across, but instead, there's no room. The ulna ends at the level of the distal radius, so the TFCC is getting flattened and compressed, pancaked here, between the lunate bone and the ulna, and this is the central disc right there, really, really thin. And surprisingly, there's no uh, perforation that I can see on this. The other components of the TFCC, this is the dorsal band here, the foveal attachment, styloid attachment, everything looks good. Just mark the thinning of that central disc. And there are no bony changes. Over time, this can cause uh, what we call ulnar abutment syndrome or ulnar impaction where the ulna hits the lunate and you get cystic changes and marrow edema in the base of the lunate here. But this patient does not have that yet. So two findings, number one, scaphoid ligament tear. Number two, positive ulnar variance and prominent thinning of the central disc and then over time this you know may lead to other problems so thank you very much